I'm Mark Polad, Associate Professor of Art History at DePaul University. Nineteen thirteen doesn't sound like such a long time ago, but it really was culturally. It was before the era of the Hollywood films. The Art Institute wasn't even 20 years old. No radio, no television. Primarily, the only way people saw art was to actually go and see for themselves. In 1913, most people thought that Impressionism was about the most avant-garde art they could imagine. And yet, here were works of art that were really taking apart the human body, works that were challenging, works that offended people, insulted them, puzzled others. It was a time when art really hadn't caught up with progressive culture. 1913 was also a time when our city was booming, and so this was by far the most controversial event in, in the art world in Chicago and in the United States. This exhibition tries to look at the Armory Show not just as a time when Chicago and America revealed themselves to be kind of unsophisticated or crude, but why, why were people really upset? What was so challenging about them? When people think about the Armory Show, they think of the nude descending the staircase, number two, by Marcel Duchamp. What people don't realize is that the works on paper meant a great deal. People really related to these works on paper, and some of the, the great innovations were demonstrated in these smaller formats. This was the first exhibition that introduced modern European art and the history of modern European art to Chicago and American artists, but art was something that was really dear to people, and it's worth noting that in this exhibition it was the art students, who you might think would be the most open-minded, who were the, the most deeply offended. They actually paraded an effigy of, of Henry Matisse on the steps of the Art Institute. Yeah. 